Ahoy, this is Chris from Ailstorm, and you're watching Rocked. Let's say, most, most of the time you guys probably don't even know what city you're in when you wake up. I feel like for Orlando, you probably had an idea. Yeah, I mean, there was a huge stadium, and I, I was actually there a few months ago watching Monster Trucks. I was like, oh, I know where I am. Oh, nice. Monster Trucks in Orlando. That's like kind of like the weird redneck touch of Florida. Oh, I love center. it. Yes. love it all. You recorded this album in Orlando, no great but the sea, correct, right? We did, yep. That was uh, back in January. We were in was it Maitland, which is, you know, just, well, you know where that is, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> I don't have to explain to you. Um, yeah, we were there for a month. Actually, actually, only two weeks at uh, Alpaca Ranch Studios, and it was great. We... It was such a nice change because usually we record our albums in Germany where it's cold and miserable in winter. Yes. But here it's absolutely perfect in winter. Yeah, it so. is. Yeah. It, like, it actually feels like an actual city you can live in for yeah. three months of the year. <laughs> then you get to this nonsense where yeah. the sweat just does not We're stop not ripping We're not normally off. the sweaty gross guys. We actually do bathe, <laughs> I promise. I don't, do pirates bathe that often? I guess not. Uh, well, we, we try to shower as much as we can. There's actually showers here. It's exciting. It's one of those, you I, know, I know, one of those... those Big, uh, big gay open showers where all the men can get it on. You, know, you don't they... care though. I don't you need like that shower. Yeah, I, I don't care at all. Yeah, it's fun. Pirates. Slap a few butts, you know. Is that the next song on? Uh. <laughs> Slap a few butts. <laughs> Anything could happen. Oh man, so there's so much stuff going on. You guys are on tour nonstop. It seems like for the rest of the year. Yeah. Um. How, yeah. So what are some of the things you're looking forward to this year on that? Show? Like some of your favorite cities. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Since the album came out, it's, which was uh, last. It was only like three or four Just weeks over a month yeah. ago, yeah. May 26, we've been um, non stop. We just, I think my favorite thing so far, obviously apart from Warp Tour, which has been absolutely phenomenal. Actually, it genuinely has been really good. Yeah. I had these. I had, like, it's so weird. I'll say this honestly. Like, Warp Tour coming in is always like, is this going to be a mess? Is this going to be an organized chaos? I finally get in the door. It's fine. I thought it was going to be lame. I thought it was going to be some sort of, you know, corporate shithole. Uh, it it, it, it changed. Know. Warped War has changed over the past couple of years. And yeah? it's gotten better. I think it's it's such yeah. a part. Everyone's, everyone's so nice. I'm used to, like, you know, crew of bands and old bands just being, like, posturing metal buttholes. But here it's, like, nice people. And it's, metal posing is a big part of rock. I know, but here it's, like, because it's not so metal. It's, it's just, true. like, you know, punk bands, rock bands. Like... There's like that, that band New Year's Day who sound you know, they they've been watching us from side of stage every day. It's like what is going on? This is great. We missed them because we were late cutting cutting and that was kind of a bummer. Oh, that was, that was a great band you guys should check out too. What are some of the other favorite bands that you, that you support that get the Ale stamp Ale Storm stamp of approval? Ooh, here? on Warp Tour, I am actually uh, Bowling for Soup. We've been playing. Yeah. I'm they, they they put on a great show. It's so funny I've every night. I've never seen them ever. Oh, it's it's crazy. so funny. You be, go and watch it. It's really good. Okay. Um, yeah. Actually, all my favorite bands are the ones that are only playing two or three dates. So there's them, Ooh, Goldfinger, because yeah. yeah. uh, mostly I'm, I'm, I'm all about the uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater soundtrack oh, bands. Of course, you know? yeah. So, uh, the originals, the PlayStation oh, yeah. One. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That, that was my jam back yeah, in the day. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Falling in Reverse, because I'm, okay. I'm, I'm a sucker for that sort of nonsense. So yeah, it's yeah, the a, little, nonsense. A, yes. a lot of cool bands, you know. Awesome. So one thing I wanted to point out to you, I mean, No Great From The Sea has a lot of fun stuff on it. Yeah. Um, there's also a lot of just different ways and themes that you politely say of what pirates do, like with mm. an anchor, for example. Exactly. So what what are some good steps on how to be a pirate, if you had suggestions? Like, have it like a bullet list. If you well, I mean, the best thing to do is chop off one leg, poke one eye out, and maybe chop off a hand, so you've got the, you know, the hook hand, the wooden leg, and the eye patch, and then that's pretty much all it takes. It's all about the look, really. You know, That's all there is to piracy. What if I only want to be a Halloween pirate, but still be uh, as impressive? Uh, maybe just chop off the hand, then. No, your left hand, if, you don't, if you're right-handed, just use the left hand. But I use both hands for video games. Wow, that was the most, like, millennial thing. <laughs> <I could laughs> but how am I going to play Call of Duty with only one hand, Mom? Mom, come, and get, come push the left D-pad button for me. Ugh. One cool thing that also I have to point out, because my friend and I just saw this, you have some of the best merchandise I've ever seen. Oh, what did you get? Oh, yes, that one. Oh, the old... Please give the sales pitch at some of the, the best old, The old classic, uh, heavily copyright infringing Darth Vader t-shirt. Pirate Darth Vader. I like the back. I find your lack of rum disturbing. We, uh... How... Like, did you, when you thought of this, were you just like, did you get like the golden ticket song stuck in your head from Willy Wonka? It's Basically, like, yeah, we, we have, we, we have so movies. many, I, oh, that's, you cannot imagine how many of those we sold, that's holy so crap. Good. We just like, you know, because 
you know a lot of metal bands, they sort of feel restrained by the, you know, we must make metal shirts with angry metal slogans and yeah, angry... Yeah, cool graphic like, like gimmick that spells out their name in cursive or dark letters, yeah, and that's it. but we have no such, we don't impose any such restrictions on what we do, so, you know, like, we have that one. We've got um, a t-shirt with, like, Pokemon on it. We've got a t-shirt that's yes. this alligator floating in the sea for some reason. It makes no sense, but, you know... I can only see pirates with alligators, like Captain Hook. Yeah. That, you, you yeah, can I guess. The, yeah, but it's, it's that, like it's like a party alligator. Or it's, I'm sure in the Star Wars universe there are yeah. pirates. And then there's, and there's the one we made just for this tour, which is like it's some pirate on a skateboard holding some pizza, because you know, warp tour. Yeah. That's all about skateboarding and doing backflips like, and being it gnarly. Like the perfect description of the '90s to me. Yeah, that's that's what, you know, when I when I think of warp tour, I think of yes. you know like Blink 182 doing a backflip mm -hmm. on a skateboard. So it's it reminds me, like they used to have the skate decks. That they would bring to warp tour. I know, I'm so, years I'm years so ago, bummed that's yeah. not a thing anymore. Cause <laughs> it'd be fun to see some of your favorite bands skateboard, and but it'd be horrifying to see yeah. the love of your life band like crash There's, and burn. I can imagine there must be a lot of snapped wrists on that. That's not really good for musicians. But, you know. Sorry, we have to cancel the rest of our tour <laughs> just because we couldn't land the 180. <laughs> so. Basically, yeah, it's uh, awesome. So, No Good to See is out right now. So, what are some of the other things we already talked about tour dates and things like that? What are some of the other things this year that you're looking forward to, just at, for Ailstorm, for yourself in general? What yeah, you, we got what keeps you going. I got distracted because yeah, we've got them. Um, like I say, this this big old warp tour thing. I was going to say the the coolest thing we did actually before this tour was that we played Grass Pop Festival in Belgium, which was insane because there was literally fifty thousand people European watching. European festivals are so blow us out of the water. And, I mean, it's it's, crazy. it's it's ridiculous. And you're just Belgium loves us for some reason. We're we're, we're big in Belgium of all places. You know, yeah. choose a country to be big, a big in pirate Belgium. Contingency in Belgium. Oh, you know, they've got a coast, they've got ships, you know. they got waffles, too. they got waffles. Pirates love waffles. Yeah, they do. But then, yeah, what else we got? we got um, a big old European tour coming up, end of the year. Then we're going to Russia for three days, as one does. Whoa. I know, that's going to be fun. Uh, we did that a couple of years ago, and it was crazy. It was nice. insane. Yeah. They, they love us there. It's, we, we did this weird show in Moscow once, and you know, it was a great, happy, fun show, and we were all being happy. And then some kid crowd surfs to the front, and apparently that's a big no-no in Russia. So like these big, psycho security guards pull him to the side of the stage, and as we're playing one of our really happy songs, I think it was Wolves of the Sea, they were just beating this kid with nightsticks. comes out. It was like it was so weird. I was like, "This isn't happy. Make it stop." But yeah, Russia's great. Um, then we're doing South America, where we're gonna shit our pants um, continuously. You thought it was hot here? You better be. This is like your training. No, I'm not keen. You know, it's I can't cope with it. But. Well, I mean, you'll be. We're in South America. Yeah. Oh, everywhere we're doing like Mexico, course. Brazil, uh, Chile, Argentina, Chile will be Uruguay. Fine. Argentina will be fine. But Brazil and yeah. Uruguay, like Ecuador. Yeah, you're gonna be toasted. Like. Ah, you know, we'll get over it. Yeah, you'll be fine. I don't think they've invented AC there yet, so it's, uh... Have they invited, invented enough, like, subwoofers and speaker wires, or you have to bring that yourself for electricity? I think, I think we'll be fine, but it's, you know... Hi, we'll, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're being dreadfully racist. I'm sure you're a lovely place. Please don't unsubscribe from my channel. I'm sure I love every one of you. <laughs> So, no, um, you have so many awesome things, so I always end with the same two questions. We'll keep this down just to Warp Tour, because Warp Tour is intense, but you can also stretch it out to the European Festival okay. just this year. What's one of the most memorable things you've seen this year on the road so far, whether that's something with your band, the fans, tour, crew, whatever, and whether that's funny, crazy, oh, what's gross, that? what's like one thing that's going to stick out through your mind forever going, God. I will never forget that. I don't know. Is I think we're just really boring these days, and nothing nothing cool happens to us anymore. You just said the worst word, because something ridiculous is going to happen now at Warped Tour for you. I know, there's going to be, I know, I think the stage is going to catch fire while we're playing or something. Or, I, but we're going to keep going, and it's going to be awesome. Yeah. One of the band's buses caught fire the other day. And like, yeah, it, I heard about it, that. It's all the news, it like, just, just exploded in St. Louis. No, that's metal. Nobody died. Yeah, but you know, it was crazy. I'm born and raised in St. Louis too, so the wow. fact that you said no one died is actually kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My so, steed did something right for once. <laughs> exactly, not just baseball. We didn't kill anyone. So, other than that, you have so many good things going for you guys besides a great tour and great merch. If Thank you had you. one message to all your fellow pirate lovers out there, what would it be? I want to tell the good people of the internet and the rest of the world to eat recycled pork. How? Can pork be recycled? What is the process? Do you know? It's, it's it's complicated, but it's it's great for you and for the environment. So you should really try and eat recycled pork. Absolutely.